<coughs> Hi, mate. You all right? Good, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> a bit better. I'll do two of these for the Let's what's on that again. Um, mixed thoughts in the sense of uh, first 15, 20, didn't start well. Bit edgy, bit nervy feel to the performance. Um, and then scored a really good goal, uh, changed the shape, which was effective, scored a really good goal, and then the whole performance changed, you know, and I think we were very strong for the rest of the first half. Two really important chances uh, go astray, and then you come in, on the front foot, as we sort of say, and the feel of it, the energy in the stadiums, you know, so positive. And we actually started the second half well, and then when they scored a, a goal half, something we should deal with quite obviously. Um, and then the performance changed, and that's something that we've got to correct really quickly because generally we have. There's been good strides forward here, um, but that's a that's a step backwards because. After that goal, we never really got back into the game. We never really, I mean, you know, have done perfect in some moments, but not really the quality moments it needs to go and take on a, a performance to win. And uh, that's something we're looking to correct the mentality of. And we have somewhat, but it's a reminder today, a stark reminder of the truth of it. Are you able to give us any insights to where you started with 4 4 2? Well, you may have noticed we have got some injuries, um, so we're trying to be effective. Uh, we know that we've got to try and get the balance of defending and scoring goals. Um, so we're just searching for that. You know, how many different ways can you search for it? And then at half-time, obviously, your records have changed. They had changed the game. Everyone back in it had the momentum. What was your message to the players at half-time? Well, about uh, building on that, you know, the last 20 minutes or so of the first half, because there was a lot of good signs, a lot of good energy and the quality. You know, some really good play, really effective play. Um, to kept them to minimal then. And, uh, you know, they had a fast start, but we kept them to minimal for the, the end of the first half and uh, quite a large part of the uh, uh, first half, sorry, for sort of 25 minutes, really. And then uh, the second half, we actually started brightly, but a goal diffused us too quickly and that can't happen. You know, because at the end of the day, um, we've we've done well and like I say, the mentality has been, there's been a shift here. Um, and today it kind of reverted back before we were here because I'd seen the games and, you know, you looked at it and the goal goes in, it was all a bit lackadaisical then. And that can't happen, you know. And credit to them, they took the game on. Uh, ironically, they had the completely the opposite. You know, they... They, they they lost their they lost their way of playing in for the last twenty five minutes of the first half certainly twenty minutes we created chances we looked nice and solid and then second half we stayed right they score a goal and their performance changed the opposite way you know they they stepped on and you know tried to grip the game which they did better than us and you reference injuries are you able to give any insights as to how long Andrew and Arne might be out for James? not at the moment we just wait and see uh, Dom's going well um, which is a positive so you know he'll he'll be back hopefully in the thinking this week as long as the week goes well. Um, Amma would do it. he had to settle a situation down Seamus obviously with his uh, hamstring so we'll see how quickly that settles and Duke's got one more game left so but they've, they've been important players but my point here and when it came it was about squad mentality you know everyone everyone wants to come and ask me why they're not playing well when you get your chance you've got to go and play yeah, but you're hopeful that Calvin Lewin might be in contention at least for the team yeah we'll see we'll see but you know he's, he's about to have a very good week this week uh, maybe we want him to have another very good week next week and then We'll do us how he's feeling. Sure, are you worried about um, being able to keep this team up now? Seen that? Well, it's no different to the challenge when I got here. Everyone told me they were gone when I got here. So uh, we've corrected that idea. Um, and now it's about taking the rest of the season on, you know, with a with a with the open-mindedness to go in. I, I, there's a saying I have, it's, you've got to make things happen. Don't wait for them to happen. And the second half, we kind of drop back into that waiting for something to happen you know and, and generally we haven't done that since I've been here there's been a, an energy to, and an edge to a performance to go and make it happen for ourselves and I just felt after their goal we dropped into that waiting for something to happen and football doesn't work well now and again you get a lucky one you know I've spoken about that recently now and again you get a lucky one but generally that's not how it works you've got to make things happen and, and we, st we stopped trying to make things happen after their uh, second goal went in a poor, I mean, a really poor third goal. Um, but but at the end of the day, the, the the change in the performance was there before the third goal. Just do two or three questions for the Mondays. 